that you're here. My name is Atakshi and today I'm going to be sharing one of the spaces in my room that I spend probably 50 to 60 percent of my day at. This desk has been a place that I've been trying to perfect ever since the pandemic started back in 2020. I think I'm finally at a place where I can say that this desk helps me stay the most productive, organized, and it keeps me at peace even though there's so much work going on in my life. So I'm really excited to share this part of my room with you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so this is an overview of my desk. I got this white aesthetic chair from Wayfair. It is very small, it fits perfectly right into the desk. And I got this desk from Ikea and it's the basic desk that almost everyone has. The only difference is that I decided not to install the door here. There's also a part of the desk that's tripped to the right. I just did not get a chance to put it back on. However, this is the overview. And starting right here from the left, I have this curved gaming monitor, which I got from Amazon and it's in the color white. So it's perfect for my desk and it's very aesthetic to look at. And I have have it connected to my MacBook Pro right here. This is in the MacBook Pro 2016, 256 gigs, and it's in the color silver. On top of it, I use this case right here because it's really pretty and then I have a matching keyboard case right there and it's connected through this adapter because as you might know these new MacBooks basically have no holes except for the two USB-C's so I have my charger plugged in and then this adapter which connects USBs and then this HDMI cable as well as SD cards and my MacBook it's sitting on top of this laptop riser and I got this laptop riser also from Amazon basically everything is from Amazon if I don't outright say it and so on top of that part of the laptop riser i keep my keyboard this is the apple uh, magic keyboard and i use this to, to connect with my macbook as well as the monitor and then alongside that i also have my little weekly schedule for tasks that i have to do and it helps me stay really up to date with everything and all the work that i have to do for that week and right under there there's a hole that connects with all the chargers that come out of it so i have my apple charger sorry i have my apple watch charger i have my monitor plug as well as my usb c port for my macbook so that all goes right there and then to the right of it so this is probably my favorite part of my desk because this gives me somewhat of a routine and during this pandemic when you really have no sense of time. This tells me what date it is. So it's a printout calendar that I just keep on a clipboard. However, every day I kind of write down what my mood is. So this clipboard I got from Walmart and underneath it, I also have like a daily schedule thing that I have for like top three tasks, affirmations, and like a time blocking schedule. So if you guys want any of this, please let me know. I'm more than happy to create a template, however, that is something that I keep right there on my desk. And then right underneath it, I have this really pretty succulent and this candle. And this is Cozy Flannel, which is my favorite scent currently. If I have the magic keyboard, I obviously also have the magic mouse. And that is sitting on top of this memory foam mouse pad. That is basically everything I keep on the top of my desk. I love how minimal it looks and it has everything I basically need. Moving on to this drawer. So this is the overview of my desk drawer. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that it's organized. It's so neat and I love the acrylic bins that I use to organize it so, so much. In the back right here, this is a financial calculator that I had to use for a couple of my classes. And then I also have like a couple other calculators. It's in the back because I don't really need to use it right now. So I just put it there. Over there, I have phone cases, my old iPhone 5 and a little diary, I'm pretty sure. I have some duct tapes back there and then those are just extra screws that I needed for the desk as well as these post-it notes. This is my first acrylic bin. I keep my set of 50 markers right here 
because I use it to bullet journal and to make different cards, etc. And it's very accessible right here. I also have a Nordstrom gift card because I still have yet to use it. So I kind of just keep it here in case I need to buy anything. So I also have this washi tape that I use for bullet journaling or scrapbooking purposes. Moving on here, I have a bunch of post-it notes. So this is a school I go to. I have a stack of post-it notes from there. Another set of post-it notes, more post-it notes back here. Some smaller bookmark kinds post-it notes and then more post-it notes, some cactus ones. Um, and then these are my favorite ones. These are transparent sticky bubble notes. Post-it notes, I absolutely love it. I use post-it notes a lot. And then here are my Muji pens as well as some other types of pens that are like this, like triangular in shape. I am a stationary hoarder and I'm really trying to get into more stationary. So if you guys have any other pen recommendations, please let me know. So far my Muji pens are my favorite, but if you have others, please comment down below. Now these are little paper clips and these are cactus paper clips because they're just really aesthetic and pleasing to look at. And then I have an extra mouse here for when I'm using computers that I don't that I can't connect through with Bluetooth. I just have one because it connects with USB. And then I have a bunch of uh, thumb pins here, as well as these little really pretty and cute round thumb pins. So that's that. And then I have two pairs of blue light glasses here. And I got these before I found out that blue light glasses are basically a myth and they don't really work. So. I don't know if I'll be using them, but I still have it there just in case I do want to use it. Next, here I have my favorite highlighters, and these are really pretty and aesthetic colors. They're extremely gorgeous, and I love using it for all things school as well as my mood calendar related. And then here I just have my whiteout and glue stick and, and liquid whiteout. And then in this last bin, I have scissors as well as a bunch of other pens and pencils and lead if I ever need to use that. But that was it for this main large drawer. Next, let's come over here to my second drawer, which is a smaller one. This right here is empty because I like to keep my camera as well as my SD card in here, but I'm obviously using that so it's empty right now. And then this is the hard drive that I use to edit all my videos and upload the raw footage onto and this is a little tiktok speaker that i have and i use it i put it there because it's usually when i'm sitting at my desk that i use it the most so i just have that there i have my airpods and then some pins that i can use to hang things off of i have keychains stickers um pop sockets stuff like that all in here and then i have all of my extra wires in here but that's it for this drawer. So moving on to this first section of my desk. Um, these are all journals that I use basically on a daily basis. This is my manifestation journal. It just says to do be awesome. This 365 is like a daily reflection journal entry journal. And then I have you goal girl, which helps me keep track of my goals. This notebook is like something that helps me keep track of daily planning, etc. This gold book is for one, is the one I use for taking notes in school as well as this notebook if I need to take any other notes in school. So those are journals I use basically on a daily basis. And this next section I have more markers, highlighters, uh, four cups of those. And I also have some cardstock paper back there and some canvases to paint when I'm feeling uh, like I wanna paint. So that's it for the second section. And lastly for the third section, it's very empty right now. However, I have a ring light there and this keypad memory foam thing. I also keep my tripods here, but I'm using both of them so it's not there currently. But that is it. So that was basically a quick little overview of my desk. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and hopefully it gave you some ideas on how to organize your own desk. If you would like to see any other videos related to this or anything that I didn't really talk in specific about and you want to see more of, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to share it with you guys. But for now, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a bunch of comments, share with your friends, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!